Hey, well this is a call for help and assistance. If anybody would like to work on it also, um, I'm thinking there's possibly another cycle here. If you are familiar with my 80 year war cycle, you will see how I hooked that up to the con cycle and the corpse cycle. In other words, all three are interrelated. The debt acquired by war, the creation of a new constitution for a new corpse with an oration or a corporation. So all three seem to be related. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can find my videos on all those subjects. So I was just sitting here thinking, hmm, what is the relationship between the current pandemic lie and other pandemic lies? And I'm going to propose to you that, basically speaking, you are looking at a 100-year period. Because the Spanish flu hoax is usually designated with 1918 and World War I. And then you'll hear some absolutely outrageous statistics that it killed more people than all the wars the U.S. had ever been in. Which, again, those are hoax deaths as well. So, But they're trying to really, really exaggerate the statistics of this hoax. And that number seems to be increasing with all kinds of nonsense. Discovering dead bodies and realizing there were more that died. And they're saying like 100 million died from the quote Spanish flu in 1918. But it just wasn't 1918. It, it kind of, you know, it was a little before and a little after. So you use 1918 as a marker. So projecting 100 years, it takes you to 2018. And before all this hit the mainstream media, letters and educational things were sent out to different towns and communities about preparedness for medical emergencies, and in particular related to virology or virus hoaxing. Uh, I just watched one last night and I was a little bit surprised. So the foundation is really laid for it in about 2018 because they're, they're gearing up institutions and they're creating scenarios that they can practice and all that kind of stuff. So if we use 1918 and go to 2018 and say it really started then, but officially it's going to start in 2019 with China being blamed. And now 2020, we're in the pandemic lie. Okay, we lie, we lie in the pandemic lie. So you see about 100 years between the major hoaxes. Now there's different sort of minor ones with others being blamed, um, like H1N1, swine flu, bird avian flu, all those sort of things. They're, they're hoaxes, but they're sort of more minor hoaxes compared to these major ones. So basically I'm looking at 100 years, and I'm going to say that all the stuff prior to 1900 was added to textbooks. Now in 1900 uh, there wasn't great deal of of laws requiring people to complete education and those laws will be progressive in terms of at first the law will be you must go to third grade and then up to, to sixth grade and then the law will say now you go more and eventually all the laws will come to the point of saying all the way up to high school. But mandatory educational laws develop uh, systematically. So, for example, uh, my grandfather never went beyond fourth grade. Now, it wasn't because he was not intelligent. First of all, a lot of times it wasn't even offered and it wasn't necessary. But his mother had died and uh, there was, 
and his father was elsewhere, and it was, there was a lot of hardship in those days. So uh, a lot of folks never made it beyond maybe sixth grade, a long time ago. Now it's hard to understand if you're listening to this uh, video because most likely you've never known anything else in your lifetime except everybody's required to go to school all the way to high school. But in the United States that was not true in the year 1900. So they would have had an absolutely marvelous field ahead of them in terms of writing things into textbooks. So I'm going to propose that basically the Black Death and all that were written into textbooks saying it existed when it never really did exist. Now why is that? Because about 1900 supposedly virus is discovered and I did a video on that too. Um, it, it, it's just the Latin word for secretion of poison from a snake or secretion of poison from a plant and there is no plural in the Latin which means it's it's singular completely singular has no plural to it. So a virus back in those days was you got bit by a snake or you were around a poisonous plant period it was singular. It had nothing to do with these invisible creatures. So the whole concept is created. It is medical nonsense creation. Now that also coincides with the development of aleopathic medicine. Because about 1900, basically all medicine is homeopathic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see one of my other videos on that subject. So I'm suggesting that, yes, there is a cycle to these virus hoaxes. And I very clearly see a 100-year interlude between the Spanish flu and what we're looking at now. So remember, there's a few years extended beyond 1918, and uh, 1918 is just kind of the marker date that people assign to it. But if you add the 100, 100, you'll see that puts us right about where we are now. So if you'd like to work on it, hey, blessings. See what you can uncover. See what kind of mathematical patterns you might be able to see. See what inner relationships this might have with other things. Because it appears pretty clear to me that this was pre-planned and it was pre-planned to be started around 2018 because that's about 100 years from the last major hoax. Now trust in the one who never gives you a hoax and never gives you a lie. In fact, the Bible says God is incapable of lying. He's all truth. He sent his son, the Lord Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And by knowing him, loving him, and following him, and getting his mind, you will not be bothered by this hoax lie system. Thank you for watching.